Hello, and welcome to Compute 175 Python Review. In the last video, we discussed tuples and lists, types built into Python that aggregate values. In this video, we'll introduce the set type. A set is an unordered collection of unique values. We'll see how we can use sets to perform logical operations on a collection of values. For this video, I'll use the following example. I want to get a pet, but I'm not sure which pet is the best for me. I've broken down what I want in a pet in a few different categories. Pets that are cute, pets that are cuddly, pets that eat vegetables, pets that eat meat, and pets that are laid back. Let's use Python sets to determine what pet I should get. I'm going to create the sets corresponding to each category. This is the set of pets that are cute. Cute equals curly brace, cat, dog, iguana, and ferret. This is a set literal with four values. Notice how sets are denoted using curly braces. I have already written the rest of the sets in a different file to save typing. I've defined the following sets. Pets that are cute, pets that are cuddly, pets that eat vegetables, pets that eat meat, and pets that are laid back. Now I'm going to hit play in Wing IDE. This will execute the Python code and assign all the variables for use in the interactive console. Let's ask for the set of pets that eat meat. Notice how all the values I wrote appear in the set. However, the order is a bit different. This is a consequence of the underlying data structure that is used to implement sets in Python. For now, all you need to know is that you cannot rely on sets being in any defined order. Now that we have sets in Python, let's ask some questions. For example, how many pets are laid back? Just like strings, tuples, and lists, we can use the len function to get the length of the set. To answer my question, the len of laid back is three. Three pets are laid back. I can also use operators to ask questions about multiple sets. For example, what pets are both cute and eat meat? So I want to know all of the pets that are in common in both the cute set and the eats meat set. This is called set intersection, and it's written using the ampersand operator in Python. So cute ampersand, eat meat. Cats, dogs, and ferrets are both cute and eat meat. Another question I could ask is, what pets are cuddly or laid back? This means I want the set of pets that are in the cuddly set or in the laid back set. Any individual pet can be present in both sets. I just want to know all of them. This is called set union, and it's written using the vertical line operator in Python. So cuddly, vertical line, laid back. So snakes, ferrets, iguanas, dogs, and cats are cuddly or laid back. How about what pets are strict carnivores? In other words, take the set of pets that eat meat and remove any pets that are also in the set that eats vegetables. This is called set difference, and it's written using the minus operator in Python. So eat meat minus eat veg. Snakes, cats, and ferrets are all strict carnivores. Sometimes we want to know if all the elements of one set are present in another set. In other words, we want to find out if one set is contained within another set. For example, are all cuddly pets also cute pets? This is called the subset relation. To rephrase our question, is cuddly a subset of cute? In Python, we need to use the isSubset method. So, Cuddly dot is subset of cute. It is. All cuddly pets are cute pets. Wait, does that mean the cute set and the cuddly set contain the same elements? To find out, we can use the equality operator. So is cuddly double equals to cute? No. As an exercise, use Python set operators to determine which pets are cute, but not cuddly. Just like lists, sets are mutable. This means we can change sets without reassignment. Perhaps I think that some snakes can be cuddly too. I can update the cuddly set to include snakes by using the dot add method. For example, cuddly dot add snake. Let's ask again, are all cuddly pets also cute? So cuddly dot is subset of cute. Not anymore. I can also remove values from a set. 
Let's say I don't think cats are cute anymore. I can use the dot remove method. Cute dot remove cat. Let's ask Python now. Are cats cute? We'll use the in operator to test the membership. So cat in cute false. Whereas dog in cute is still true because because the set of cute animals now is iguana, ferret, and dog. I also don't think that snakes are cute. Let's remove snake from the cute set. So cute dot remove snake. Python raises an error because we're trying to remove an element that does not already exist in the set. OK, so I changed my mind. Cats are cute. Let's add them back to the set. Cute dot add cat. And now if we look at the updated set, it now contains iguana, ferret, dog, and cat. I think cats are so cute, I'm going to add them to the set three more times. So cute dot add cat, cute dot add cat again, and cute dot add cat. Recall that sets are a collection of unique elements. So how many times will cat appear in the set? Let's recall the value of the cute set. Because sets store unique values, if I try to add a value that already exists in the set, the set will not change. Sets never contain duplicate values. In this video, we discussed the set type in Python. Sets are unordered collections of unique values. We learned how to define sets in Python, as well as how to use set operations to compare elements from multiple sets. We also learned that sets are mutable, and how to change values in a set without reassignment.